Right now, you kicking it with Ken on the Lee and Ken show. And I'm finna go on 713 Motor and holler at the big homie Big B, man. Come holler at me, man. Yeah. You know who it is. It's Westside. Hey, what up? It's your boy Big B representing 713 Motoring. I'm kicking with Ken on the Lee and Ken show. Man, Big B, it's good to see you, bro. Same here, bro. Oh, hey. man, it's been a while. Yes, sir. But let, for those of the people that don't know, man, let them know what 713 Motoring actually does, man. Man, 713 Motoring does everything from wheels and tires, paint, music, car shipping, restoration, the whole nine. Oh, okay. How long have you guys been in the city, man? Man, August 2002. We officially put it on paper, you know what I mean? But we've been in the game at least since 96, 97. <laughs> what you mean by officially putting it on paper? What well, do you mean? because, I mean, as, as far as we're concerned, you know, our initial introduction to the game was in our high school parking lot. Okay. Because we used to fix our own personal cars up. And, you know, you know how you know you get dressed for school, you get ready for school, you go to the parking lot, that's where we showed all your goods or showed what you got. But to be your, your your music, your TV screens, whatever. So you get in the parking lot, you know, that's what we all met indirectly. Like we was all in the parking lot showing whatever we had, you know what I mean? So that's how it started in that parking lot. So, so let me ask you this. Yeah. Who got the most girls? And look. <laughs> You ask even one of everybody gonna say a different number. Somebody gonna say them. I'ma say not me, but I mean I had one girlfriend at the yeah, time. Okay, I was trying okay. to be faithful. Lord and, Jesus. And you went to what high school you went to? We all from Madison High School. Okay. Madison cool. High School. So two thousand two man is when we kicked off. How long did it take before you understood or before the brand was recognizable in Houston? Man, to be honest with you, I would say like around oh six, oh seven is like, you know, probably like when we got national recognition, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's just, that's when we got a chance to actually work with some of the uh, the big boys, per se. But, because prior to that, we were just more like, you know, in the local clubs, trying to get our name out there, putting our frames on everybody, call it anybody. It could be a Hoopty, Metro Bus, whatever. We're going to put the frame <laughs> on there so we can, you know, see what it is. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. So that's that's how I was introduced to him, man. Yeah. It was cool to see, like, you know, we get to see a bunch of music videos. We get to see um, a, a few models using you guys' cars. Right. How does that come about? Did you go after the artists in Houston, or did they see you guys? Like, how did, how did you build those relationships well, with the people that matter in the city? Well, definitely the relationships were built, I would say, kind of indirectly because we were both in the same hustle. We were mm -hmm. both in the, in the streets, passing out flyers, trying to network, trying, you know, trying to get on. So, you know, of course, the artists that were trying to get their songs out there and the music heard, mm -hmm. they was out there in the clubs, too, doing the same thing. Like, oh, you got music? Nah. Got a business call for you, though. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get your money, come holler at us or whatever. Shoot, let us tint your window, let us do something so we can get out there. So, that's how we kind of built these relationships with all these different people in the streets because they were out there in the clubs just like us. So we all from the same grind, just different directions, but same grind though. Mm -hmm. Okay. So out of all the people, because I know it's a long black list of the people that you worked with, gotcha. who was your favorite to work with? Man, that's a hard one. Like, <laughs> you got to choose sides, man, bro. You got to choose it, sides. It's so hard to like, okay, I'm going to say probably one of the greatest people, most humble people that I think that I personally worked with was uh, Adrian Peterson. Okay. A very humble dude. Like, I mean, somebody that at, at, that's at his magnitude, you know, you know, this is true. He was on the Madden cover for crying out loud. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. very humble, very low key. Just, you, you know, hey, you know. Private but open, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, it make a lot of sense. You know, so I, I definitely will salute to him because you know he's done great things. You know, you know, with us and with vice versa. So that was probably our, for me my biggest uh, me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So was his car the favorite as well, or just him as a person? Well, I would say him as a person, because you know, like you know, sometimes you run into people. I mean, I would never say names, but you know, they they their their stardom they let their control the way they handle people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and to me, this guy he's up there, you know, as far as stardom goes. But his mannerism, his respect level is like you know, like you know, me and you. It's just yeah, it's yeah, nothing. Yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna come in like you know, bossing you around. Like you know, he's humble, comes by himself, in and out. You know what I mean? So okay. I respect that. That's cool, man. Yeah. 
So B, man, when you talk about the process of putting a, a custom car together, yeah. how long does that usually take? Man, like we get some cars in and out like one day, they're getting simple stuff like rims and tires. But some people, they go all the way in. Like we talking mm -hmm. about interior, engine, paint body. So that job could be in from three to six months, depending on how detailed we're doing the job. And of course, our, also our workload. So I would say on average, one day, to, one day to six months, depending on what you're asking to get done. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and what about outsourcing? Because I know you guys get a lot of work. Man. Right, right. Um, do you ha outsource to any other smaller companies to get your jobs done, or is it all done here in house? Well, see, that's the thing. Like in the beginning, you know, when we started, we, we were we weren't weren't as knowledgeable as we are now. Mm -hmm. So of course, in the beginning, we had we didn't know all the in and outs of what to do. And, you know, looking at budgets and you know how much money you really losing by sending something out. Mm -hmm. See, in the beginning, yeah, we were outsourcing certain things, whether it be like you know little interior things here and there, because you know we're gonna do so much under one roof. Okay. But at this point, because originally we started with no address, we was out the trunk <laughs> records, you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. door to door with it. But at this point in the game, we learned, okay, you know what, we need to minimize costs, mm -hmm. and you know, and even if it costs a bit more to have people on staff in here. In the end, we're gonna have more profits. So that's okay. we do everything in house now. So whether it be paint, interior, exhaust, it's all done under one roof. Yeah, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah. So as a small business, you guys don't always have the publicity when you do things in the city that bigger companies might have. Right. Um. So what are some of the things that you do in the community that you want everyone to know that we're not just here to make money? We're here to impact the world and our community. Gotcha. So what are some of those things that you guys do? Well, definitely every year we participate in the toy drive around Christmas time. Um, and then every year we participate in a turkey drive also. Mm -hmm. So between those two things, we you know, you're going to see us there, whether it's somebody's church or in the community doing that. In addition to doing that, we participate in like MLK parades. We give cars to be driven. Uh, local politicians, we work with them, going to different events, charities. I mean, the whole night and speak at schools also. Of course, okay. our, our homeschool, Madison, we've been back there to speak. I've uh, been to prayer to speak and uh, local other schools that you know invite us out to kind of mm -hmm. a career day to talk about you know what you can do you know when you when you grow up besides you know just being a doctor a rapper a ball player you know you can be an entrepreneur and chase yeah, your dream yeah yeah i mean so on top of that what kind of advice do you have for another small business um who's just starting off because you know Starting a, a, a business, it's a lot of things that you have to learn through experience. Right. What is something that you can tell somebody so they don't have to experience that L? <laughs> Man, like the best thing is like to be a sponge because if you surround yourself with people that are knowledgeable and at least in the field that you're pursuing, to suck up as much information as you can. And also, man, for me, was being prayerful. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I, I, I have a strong belief in God and definitely he got us through a lot of times where I think we couldn't even get out of, you know, for trying to learn things and, you know, to figure things out what to do and how to survive because it's, it's tough out there when you're just trying to figure it out nobody's there to kind of guide you because you know where we come from you know single background single parent backgrounds where you know the father figure wasn't there we had to lean on each other to kind of get an understanding of what to do and where to go and what direction to take it so with that relationship we built each other up and learned from each other also cool 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 so man i appreciate all the time that you gave me man man i appreciate, I, man, I appreciate the knowledge man it's cool to know more about 713 motoring and I just thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you coming through. Yeah, man. So, uh, you've been kicking it with Ken on the Lee and Ken Show. I got the homie Big B. It's 713 Motor, and we in this thing, man. Check us out. LeeandKenShow.com. I wake up in the morning, get fresh. Then I hit the mall just to spend a check. Yeah, yeah. I wake up in the morning and get fresh. Then I hit the mall just to spend a check. Cause I'm rocking designer, designer. All I wear designer, designer, designer. Designer, designer. All I wear designer, designer, designer. I'm so dope Coke on the bottle, me mine, girl She be modeling, roll day or trip shopping spree That's all I know Smoking a lot of weed, sitting in some type of time machine Ashing on my designer jeans They say I'm